um Sophia. Okay, okay. Hi, Mrs. Sophia. Hi, Wumi. Hello. Hi, it's so nice to hear from you. Yeah. I've been here for, for like a few hours listening to you. Like, thank you for the words of encouragement. Like, it's so nice to hear from you. Like, the, the word of courage. Like, despite everything you've gone through in the past one year, like, you could come over, you know, to advise me to, so, you know, like, all everything I've been listening to is what I actually needed to hear. Like, you know, it's not easy. And I commend you, like, you, you are a strong woman. Like, with everything I've been listening to, shows how strong you are being. And, you know, I'm so happy for you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm also, it's not the truth. But in all of this, I have a son, to, you know, to cater for. And I feel that is all that matters. That, that's all that matters to me. No. And I know the world have been, have been, have not been, you know, they have been quiet with me, like, people have been, so we said towards me and my child, but I cannot control how they feel about me and Liam. But all that matters is me being very the holy mother and father to my child. Thank you so much for coming here today. You really don't know how much it has helped me. Like, I used to feel I'm a strong woman not until I listen to you. And okay. I really want you to know that you are, you are like a... You are like you motivate me. Yeah, let me just put it away. You just motivated me more tonight. I, I listening to you, listening to your story and all this. And um, I I really wish to hear from you. Like always, like I've I've, I've, I've gone through your Instagram page, your Facebook, and everything. And I think your like view of your book and you know. Thank, thank you. Like I, I really don't because you know you really, like I've really been in my feelings. I listen to you, but. I have a to look at that. In everything I've been going to for the past one year. And they don't even like and and they are not even stopping anytime soon. So in all of this, one thing that you 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 have been saying is how precious the children are to you. And that is one thing that that keeps that keep me going for the past one year too. My child. In everything my child. In my in my sad moments, in my happy moments, in, in everything. I always think about my child, like, my, my husband will never be happy seeing me becoming me able just because of what people have to say. And I have always said to myself that people don't matter. Whatever they say to me, don't matter. I know me. They, don't, they, they cannot they, they cannot, say what, they cannot define me because they don't know me. And they just said how precious your husband's family are being to you. Like, I'm, like, I'm so jealous of you. Like, I am so, so jealous of you because there is nothing I can do. Life has been unfair. Like people like I do, like the past few months on the back against me. I've been all the good things I love my husband. And sometimes I always wish you can just wake up to fight for me. Okay, I've always been doing it. So, you know, I, I cannot like it. It's an imagination that can never come to pass. So, in all of this, thank, like, thank God I had me yeah, like, we have. Something that I have something that was all you to remember at the end of time. And, you know, I wish I could all do right now, listening to your story and everything, but I pray come to you. Thank you so much. Hey, Umi, I have one thing to say to you, Umi. So, this is what I want to tell you. Just like you said, they will not stop. Now, that any day you decide you want to come out of your shell to be you, to leave you, this is the comment you will, you will hear because I hear that a lot. And please shut it out. Now, man, we die, fuck up. You, are, you don't die. Now they have, they've moved on. They literally want you to stay sad for the rest of your life. They'll say, in everything you do as a man, don't die, you don't die. She has moved on. She's happy. My darling, please do not listen to naysayers. Be you. When you decide you want to start posting on all your socials because the honest truth is swimming you are going to remain popular you are already popular because your husband's popularity has been transferred to you so all eyes are on you but i want you to do one thing shut the word and let them know that because mobile is no longer here does not mean you do not have a life you need to stand up for yourself honestly speaking you need to stand for yourself my darling once you see you see that thing they don't like that's what i want you to be doing you are, do you know that thing they want is what you are doing? 
you are hiding you are not posting you are not looking good you are not you i no, see your video only on mommy no, i have boss post i am not no mr sophia i am not like one thing is like i feel like like um i really don't know how to put it in a put it in word but one thing about me is that i really do not give a fuck about people you understand yeah. But that was the fact that I love my husband so dearly. Of course. And there is one thing my husband has always wanted. Like my husband is not somebody that that wants me all out there. Like do you just mm -hmm. like he's okay. not somebody that really wants me all out there. He's okay. one he's, he's somebody that that like I don't know how to put it. Like he loves me so much to the extent that because you can't even be a man and talk to me. That's how much he loves me and he doesn't he doesn't play about me. Do you understand? Yeah. So, so all the, like me not posting online, me not going out and all of that is what I do, even when he was alive. It's when he was alive, okay, that's fine. Yes, I, I will only go. I will go. I will only go out with my husband. I don't mm. even have any friends. I don't have any female friends. It's just me and him. So like it, it blows me like they are the ones putting me in this position. But that is not true. I have always been like this, even when he was alive. Okay. It's, 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 it's either me value. and him or with nobody. So me not posting. Regularly, me not going out as 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 um, people that love me genuinely want them. So it's not because of of what people would say or because of choice. It's because that's how it has always been, even when my okay. family is like. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's that's yeah. actually valid and that's fine. I'm glad you are doing well. Eh? And these two shall pass. Don't I'm worry. Fine. Yeah, I have been fine. Thank God I had Liam because Honestly. I would like you like that. He has really been my like he has really been. Like yeah. I still be new because me and my husband, and myself and my husband have been together since eleven years, and yeah. but like with, with that, with that huge year, like uh, like thank God, thank like I don't know, God, God is so good, God has been so good to me. Because thank God I have Liam, because he has been the source of my strength. Like I have, like sometimes you know whenever I'm just alone, I just I, I just spend minutes over the road and I feel like what is what is what is my husband just died without leaving me something to hold on to. What would I have done? How would I have done? Where would I have been? But you know, in all of this, whenever I do you know something, like I have really, I have really, I have really had that courage to get that sometimes I will go to the platform of my trolls and listen to them, hear them, and just, and just sometimes I pray to them, I pray for them. Not because they want it, because I feel like, oh my God, these people just, they don't deserve that happy. They just, they need peace of mind. Sometimes I go to them to watch them. You know the fact, that is how strong I have been. Like nobody in this world, Nobody can can take me back to those those months because I knew what I did I did and I knew how much I prayed my way out of those those periods. So all of those things are being alive is just like come up. like I, like sometimes I just look at these people and I just laugh at them like like can you just like you know but you know sometimes I I it is it is yeah yeah I don't know how to put it like that is how they decide to play their own games and all of that and I feel like most most of these people that show me. And all of that are just projecting what who they are or what they have probably gone through in the hands of women, their partners, their mothers, on me. But I cannot control how they feel about me because just 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 like I among me, I have I, I have I have trained myself not to get bothered about what they say about because they don't know me and they cannot define me. I know myself, they don't know me. And in all of this, I'm always thankful for the gift of my baby because in my bad time, whenever I touch him or I or hug him. Like it gives me that calmness that I, I needed. In, in those times, whenever I see things or hear things that, you know, that that supposed to break me and I look at my baby, like I really don't know where those joy and happiness come from. So, you know, I'm always thankful to my husband in heaven. Now, thank God. He gave me something to always hold on to, which is our child. And the few members of the family that really want to, that, that, that loved him when he was alive, I always always grateful for the gift of that little child too. And that is one thing that has kept me going. In all of this, thank God I have Liam. Because yeah. it would have been worse if he died without letting back. So me listen mm. to you and hearing how your children have been your source of joy. Like I could relate because that's that has like I could relate with everything because that is how I have always feel like thank God I have Liam in everything. I'm only saying the gift of my child. I literally pray God every day. I know you're I've been with this guy like, for since I was 14. So thank God that in all of this, I had a child for him. I'm, I'm glad. So I've been in my feelings actually. Like, like, 
so I cried and you know, I just asked someone to talk to you. And I'm so glad to talk to you. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, oh, Mummy. Brilliant. Awesome. Brilliant submission there. We appreciate you. Love to Lily. We'll let you go because we know you have to look after Lily. And, um, uh, okay. And,